Hello and welcome to Swindon Web TV's spring update from here at Rove's Farm. And you can certainly tell it's spring, can't you? When you can see the daffodils out, the primroses, the hawthorn coming into blossom and so much more. But of course, one of the key signals of spring is the lambing season. That's why we've come here to Rove's Farm to see what we can capture on film. Now, if you've never been to Rove's Farm before, do check out the website. There's always a lot of things happening. Uh, you can buy tickets on a daily basis or even maybe have a look at the season ticket idea so you can see the farm as it progresses throughout all the seasons. But now it's time to see what we can see on the spring update. So we're joined by Pippa again and uh, Pippa you've had an exciting day, a newborn this morning. We have, it's all been go, we've had um, three sets of twins of the sheep born today and we've also had a lovely little Sussex calf just over there and yesterday morning we had a Highland calf so it's all go at the moment down at the farm. Yesterday we had a set of triplets, a set of quad and two singles as well and so uh, it varies each day with how many lamb but there's usually at least four or five that have their lambs each day. So I presume the weather and all those things make a massive difference to the whole season. They do indeed. The weather is so important, with, um, with especially with the lambing as well. You don't want it to be wet and cold. It's been perfect so far. We're just waiting for the field to dry up enough from the winter's rain and hopefully all the lambs will go out tomorrow that is now born. Um, got Mother's Day coming up on Sunday the 30th and Mum's coming free with the pain child on that day. There'll be the tractor rides. That's also the start of animal racing on that day. So we've got the, goat, the sheep and the pigs racing on as well. Easter holidays are just around the corner. That's always a fantastic time of the year. So we've got the Easter bunny and the Easter chick on our tractor rides. It's absolutely, it's so funny. It's really good to watch. Um, the children get to chase Easter bunny as well on an Easter bunny chase and it just makes, makes Easter. And then there'll be the bottle feeding of the goats and lambs and all the normal activities as well. So craft and tractor rides and animal racing and all those things. Hey. Once they've land, they come into these individual pens for the first day or two days and then they go out into the straw yard and then tomorrow they'll go out into the field. So we've had a set of quads down there that were yesterday and there's a few triplets scattered around as well. So lots of little lambs to see. So poor, poor mum looks like she's had quite a, quite a morning. <laughs> yeah, she had them about five o'clock this morning. So she's having a bit of a rest now. They've all got full tummies. Her job's done for a little while. She can have a little bit of a snooze and then they'll feed a bit later on. <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Pippa. I know it's very, very busy. So I'm going to let you carry on with your work. Oh, thank Thanks you. a lot. Cheers. They're just absolutely irresistible, aren't they? Well, of course, if you want to see more here at Rose Farm, you can stop nibbling at me. Uh, then, of course, uh, make sure you click on the link below and you can get to all the details of all the events and things that are coming up over the next few weeks and months. Now, we did something very different here today at Rose Farm. We actually did some live broadcasting. And if you look below, you'll be able to see some details of that and see how it all worked. It's very new technology for us, but we intend doing quite a bit more in the future. So make sure you stay tuned with us and find out what we're up to and where we're broadcasting. In the meantime, this is Alistair Greener for Swindon Web TV. Bye for now. Thank you.